347-820-584. It's been 245 days since law enforcement lined Martha's Point in southeast Shelby County. He said, Grandmama, um, my parents is, is dead. And I said, Rose, stop playing. And he's like, Grandmama, I'm not playing. He said, my parents is dead. He was eight at the time. So I live right around the corner. It took me three minutes to get there. And when I, walk, when I walked up to the door, the door was open, and I immediately knew something wasn't right. A mother's intuition. Rita Greenleaf says on July 21st, 2023, she found her daughter dead, shot eight times. Her young grandkids waiting. Her son-in-law shot once and still alive. I asked the detective, I said, are you without a doubt 100% sure that my son and I kept my daughter, and he said, Ms. Greenleaf, we are 100% sure. Her family still can't understand it. Everybody loved her. She was always Chrissy. She was always everybody's little Chrissy. And her not being here is a void. At the time, deputies called it an apparent murder and attempted suicide case between a husband and wife. Today, they tell me no charges have been filed. They always say, Ms. Greenleaf, justice may be slow, but it comes. And I just have to, I just have to live with that. In a statement, Shelby County Sheriff's Office says they are still, quote, awaiting the return of the TBI report from the evidence. They say once they come back, they can represent the case to the district attorney. If they go and arrest him right now, I still don't have my daughter. In Memphis, Shea Simon, WREG News, Channel 3.